Hello there my nearlies, Nicole here from Nikki's Delicious Gels. So today I'm going to show you how to recreate this baby. Okay, I don't know if you guys, if the camera is focusing in. Alright, it's a beautiful flower, it's quite easy to do and I'm going to show you how using stamping gels. Stamping gels are technically gel paints in a tube they're very pigmented and um, you can do a variety of different things with these babies okay so I'm going to show you how I created that one with these so let's get started okay so just to obviously not make this video too long I've gone in with um, this purple on the pop stick okay and now I'm going to use a little bit of the potted um, solid cream gels, just a little bit, to sort of give that background to the flower. Okay, so you're going to do like a stroke up here. Doesn't have to be perfect. A stroke in the middle and a stroke at the bottom. Okay, that's just going to give your background so that when you do your flower, it gives some depth okay then I'm going to put that in the LED lamp for 60 seconds okay so I'm just going to be using this brush now um, you can buy the acryl brushes or whatever you, I don't know how you, what you call the brush okay but it's got a it's got a sort of slant to it okay um, as you can see it's not a straight cut it's sort of slanted um, so you can buy these brushes from me um, and I'm going to show you what I do next right so I've got some um, stamping gel paints here on the side so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of pink and then I'm just going to sort of brush it here okay white pink and then brush it right want some more white there we go and I sort of blend those colors together okay until I've got what I want so I think that's more or less the same sort of color I had the last time but remember that you know you might do this the first time and it might not come out the way you want it or it might come out darker or lighter etc so just play with it until you get the desired sort of look that you want okay so I'm just blending those two colors together when I think I've got what I want I'm just going to pick it up okay move this out the way and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to sort of see where that line was that I created earlier on okay uh, I think it was here. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to put the brush down, and then I sort of going to pull it down, just like that. Okay. Push it, put it together. And what you can do is, if you want some more white, dip your brush in the white. Sort of give it that blended petal look okay you're not going to cure it yet then you're going to go and do your next petal and you can sort of do the same sort of thing again we mix the same colors in and again you can angle brush sort of wiggle that to make a petal okay, I don't know if you guys can see but I will show you just now you want to add some definition take some darker you just do it around that edge there Sorry guys, I am sitting at a difficult angle, always sitting at a difficult angle. 
Okay, and then you continue to do your petals until you're happy with the result. Okay, so I want the petal to sort of come up like this and sort of come in like that. Okay, you can sort of play around with it and because of the consistency it's not going to run on you um, at all okay so when you're happy with that which I'm not yet I'm going to add a little bit more um, I think red into that a little bit more pink red pink into that Bit more white and then you can use any colors guys any colors you like I'm just using these colors because these are the colors that I like personally okay and I'm just gonna sort of take that white and mix that white into that pink making it a lighter shade of pink All right so I made it a lighter shade of pink and I just want to sort of go in again sort of making like a like that see so it's almost like detailing it a little bit okay then I want a little bit more red sort of at the top of that flower so I'm just gonna sort of blend it in I hope I'm in focus This one I'd like to blend a little bit more. Let's blend it in. These are really super cool, like guys, to do flower work. Sorry, I just need to do something quickly and I have to bring it closer to my eyes. So just bear with me. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to go in and cure that for 60 seconds. Okay, so now. I've just gone in and done exactly what I did with the three, but just in between those three. So one one um, petal here and one petal here. And now I'm just going in with a little bit of the darker polish and I'm just sort of just ever so lightly outlining those petals with the darker color, right? And you can always blend it in so it doesn't look so obvious sorry so you can just blend it in with that brush so it doesn't look very light touches you know what I mean no, I just don't like that's just showing too much of the purple underneath so I'm just going to go in sort of there we go we can add some little bit of dark touches over here Maybe just to bring some outline to it you know so that we can sort of differentiate between the petals what's what one in the middle, I'm just going to make a little bit of more definition of here. So it can be seen. Just blend it. Okay, I think I'm happy with that, guys. But yeah, you will get a different sort of... Um, color every time you do this so 
it's never going to look the same. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do a little bit more white. In here. A little bit more white. In here. Uh, a little bit of white here. And a little bit of white here. Take your time, you don't need to rush this, you know. Take your time. It's really going to help you if you take your time and don't rush it. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. That's pretty cool. You can, to add definition, take a thin liner brush. You know, something like this. This is quite junk. I've got better brushes that you can buy from me. Um, sorry. And you can sort of you know, do like the polish, much polish onto it, but you can sort of drag it through those petals just to give a but go in one direction don't go in all different directions okay just go in one direction sort of give it some detail yeah it's coming on nicely so I'm going to just cure that for 60 seconds. So yeah, I'm just adding a little bit of details, guys, just to just to sort of outline, give it more definition. Um, you know. I hope you guys can see. I can't really well, look at the camera and look here, so <laughs> just try my best to sort of and just like you know, I'm just putting it right to the end there, and then I'm sort of pulling it through. And I think that looks good. What do you guys think so far? Let's see if this camera is going to focus. So that's how it's taking shape at the moment. And you just play around, you know, where you want to add a little bit more detail. You add a little bit more detail. Um, where you want it lighter. Blend a little bit more. Where you want it darker, just take your brush and sort of you know, there we go. So I'm just gonna cure this for 60 seconds. So these um, stamping gels, ladies, they're not just for stamping. You can use them as gel paints. They cure beautifully. Um, and you can draw with them. You can stamp with them. You can do um, ombres with them they blend beautifully as well um, and then the solid potted gels these ones they're very pigmented as well um, I used a mixture of that with a mixture of this purple here to get my purple all right and they work well together so yeah um, you know what don't think no oh, that's just way too hard and I, I can't do that I don't know how to do that you can do it you just get a brush that has got that angle to it it has to have that angle you can't do it with a normal say um, gel brush but you can definitely do it with a, a brush that has the sort of angle to it okay and if it's got this angle to it, you'll be able to do all, little flowers, big flowers, all kinds of flowers, all kinds of um, art. 
I need to just wipe this off here. I'm getting like problems everywhere, yeah. And then you'll be able to do it. I also thought I couldn't do it until I tried. So now we're going to be ready to do uh, the inside of the of the flower. I'm, I'm going to use black. You can use whatever color you want. And I'm sort of just going to do like a black sort of a little bit up you can just add as you need I'm just showing you okay just cut that in so pigmented. Okay, let's see, this isn't completely rounded like I want it. But again, it's art, it's subjective. Some people are like it, some people hate it. It's just art. Okay, so once you've done that, what you want to do is get a little thin brush like this, okay? And you're kind of going to put a tiny little bit on that brush, like a really tiny bit. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it in there and you're just going to swipe up. Okay. Sorry, my hands are dirty from all the paints and stuff, but um, yeah. So you're just going to take it and sort of do little lines okay now mine's not coming out like I wanted to so I'm gonna have to wipe it off <laughs> oh gosh okay let's just wipe this off come on gosh I hate it and black is so pigmented so yeah it's a problem but now you can see I also make mistakes you just go in again, sort of rub it in there. Be afraid of your hands getting dirty, don't do hand art. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to try that again. Hopefully it's not going to make a mess like it did just now. Okay, one second ladies. Okay, so I'm just going to take that brush and sort of brush that black from there up. Okay, don't put any don't put on any gel onto the brush because that's what I did wrong. Okay. Um, it becomes messy then. You just need to use the actual gel that's there in the center. Alright. You can turn around, look at it, see if you like it. You can make the little Lines a little bit longer, little shorter ones. And then when you're happy with it, you can go in and cure it. I think I'm happy with that. I think I'm happy with that. Alright, so, and cure it for full 60 seconds. This gel is very pigmented, so it's going to need at least 60 seconds to cure because it is a... Um, gel paint or stamping gel paint um, so you're going to need time for it to cure right um, then once you've done that and it's cured you're going to use white so I'll be right back 
to show you. Okay my nailies, so now what we're doing is we're going to add the little white dots. I'm just using a dotting tool for this. So you're going to add little, like, bigger ones. So the bigger, obviously the more polish you put onto the dotting tool, okay? And then the small ones, you put less, you just use the... Sorry ladies, I had a little bit of technical difficulties there, the camera fell over. So if you want larger sort of dots, you put your thing into... You put your dotting tool into the white and you sort of make sure that you've got a lot on the dotting tool. And then you'll press down and it'll leave it a larger dot. For smaller dots, you sort of take off as much polish as you want. Um, and then just go in very lightly. Very sort of lightly. I have to sort of see because there's like a lot of reflection here <laughs> from the light. So, yeah, just like, you know, random. It's how you choose to do it, how you like it. Okay, maybe a little small one over here. All right, I think that's looking cute. I'm happy with that. Right, so I'm going to put that into the LED UV lamp for a full 60 seconds because white is very pigmented and you want to make sure that that cures. Okay, then we'll be back to top coat. Okay, dokie, so I'm going to do a... Oh gosh, I've got paint on. Uh, guys, you're going to get full of mess when you do this, but it's worth it at the end. Okay, so I'm going to matte top coat this. First, to show you guys what it would look like matte, um, and then I will go in with glossy. I just I like the glossy more than the matte, that, but that's again personal preference. And do a nice, even, thin coat over the entire nail, right? And then we're going to cure that. Now you can cure it for 30 seconds. But I always cure everything on 60 seconds. So I'm going to cure this one. So that's what it's looking like at the moment. Of course, this is very lumpy and bumpy still. But we are going to encapsulate this. But I just want to show you guys what it looks like mattified. Alrighty, so that's what it looks like mattified. Now we're going to encapsulate. I love it encapsulated. So, I'm going to take some, oh sorry, I'm using the Vendini. So I'm going to use the Vendini um, non-white top coat. Um, the Vendini or non-white top coat and the AS non-white top coat are basically the same. Okay, so I'm just going to do a coat over the entire nail. Okay. Making sure I get everywhere where that mat was. This is a pop stick, so I also like to sort of go up as well on the pop stick. This obviously you wouldn't do on the natural now. Okay, guys? <laughs> Just to let you know. Okay. So, now we've sort of got one coat on there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a lot onto my brush. Okay? A lot. Then, I'm going to angle the brush down. And I'm going to float that gel over the entire nail. And this is going to encapsulate it. Okay? And if you angle the finger down, whether it's a finger or a pop stick or a practice finger, the gel is naturally going to pull down with gravity okay and that is how you're going to encapsulate your design with gel top coat gel polish okay now obviously if you've got to build a gel that's more preferable because then you don't have to um, work so hard <laughs> that builder gel is thicker so but if you've only got top coat this is the way I encapsulate okay so 
making sure that the free edge is encapsulated and the side walls that it doesn't run and I'm just basically using the tip of that or the corner of that brush to glide that gel where I want it okay I'm not pressing now what you can do is you can turn it upside down because gravity is going to pull that gel to the center and then we can put it in the LED lamp to cure okay now if it isn't 100% smooth it's not a problem because you're going to go and obviously file that afterwards okay you're going to buff it so you can get sort of those little tiny lumps and bumps out okay so that has been encapsulated do you see what I mean I just love it with the shiny it's non sticky wipe coat tiny little bit of lumps tiny like not much so what I'll do then is I'll take my file okay not the very rough end sort of the 180 grit and I'll go over that buff it up and then I'll do another coat okay but that is your choice whether you want to do it like that or not okay I did it with this one and as you can see this one here this was my first one um, you can see that there's no lumps and bumps in there okay this one you can see there's a little bit more because I haven't buffed it yet and done another top coat so that's what this is all about ladies is practicing playing around and your clients will love you for it um, so as you can see this one was my first one I did this one yesterday just to practice it was the very first time I did it and I love the way it came out um, I also love the way this one came out they're both in my books I love it I absolutely love it okay so I'm just gonna turn around so you guys can see there we go absolutely gorgeous I love it I just love it okay this one was a little bit smudged because I didn't cure it long enough I only cured it for 30 seconds and the stamping gel especially the white and the black needs to be cured for a full 60 seconds okay I hope you enjoyed this my nailies. I did it for you with love so please show me some love and give me a like, a thumbs up, subscribe, click the notification button, share the video, even if it is just sharing it on your own page on Facebook so you can refer back to it. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, I'm super chuffed. Okay, so and it's quite easy. It doesn't take that long. I just went slow obviously for you know the video purposes but it can be much quicker obviously the more you do it the the quicker it's going to be the easier it's going to be etc okay so I'm just going to go wash these filthy paws because they're full of gel and I will see you in the next one have a delicious day bye bye now